Okay, in the second part of this video, I'm going to show you how to work parts B through F in the long regression question that I gave you in this week's learning module. If you remember, in an earlier video, I showed you how to uh, do part A, which was how to use jump to make a scatter plot, um, pass judgment on the strength of the linear relationship by calculating Pearson sample correlation coefficient. Uh, this part of the video really works on calculating the regression equation and just how to um, use the regression equation to predict for values uh, that lie within the, the given range of the x data. So I've already put the data in the data table. Um, what I'm going to do to um, run the regression is a couple ways to do this, but one of my more uh, favorite ways is to click Analyze, Fit Y by X, and then grab the, um, the X and Y data and drag them into the required fields. So if you remember advertising, was the x value here. So I'm going to grab advertising and grab the x. And we were trying to make a decision decision whether um, spending more money on ad advertising you know, increases sales. So once uh, I drag those variables in, I'll hit OK. And it creates a scatter plot. And we've seen this earlier. Now, to, do the, to run the actual regression, we have to ask Jump to do that. So if we click this little red triangle here, we can tell it to fit line. All right, so there you have it. So it hands us the regression equation. You can see right here, linear fit. It says sales is equal to 28.65 about, plus this rounds to about 13.9 multiplied by the advertising. So remember, the advertising is the X data. That's the input value. And the predicted value here is sales. That's the Y value. We call, we're going to call it Y prime because, you know, the actual Y value are the observed Y data values, which are, you know, over here the sales values, those are the actual y's. But remember, the regression equation, it has y values here, but those are predicted y's. All right, so there you have it. Now, what else does it give us? It, give us, it gives us the coefficient of determination, which is called r squared. That's about 79%, as you can see. Um, it gives us an analysis of variance, which that's going to be covered later on. And this is um, estimates for parameters. Um, that's for the confidence interval. That's actually for next week. So right now, what I'm really interested in is the um, linear fit. So what I'm going to do is go back to the question right now. Letter B says, find the least square, squares regression equation. And then it asks me to interpret the slope and y-intercept in the context of the question. And it says, be sure to graph this regression equation within your scatter plot. All right, well, you know, jump does that automatically. That's for my, um, my daytime students. Uh, that are face-to-face -face and, you know, we're using the TI graphing calculator. It doesn't do that automatically. You have to actually ask it to do it. But you can see the, 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 the line right there is, is graphed, and you can see it. And the, um, the y-intercept, just don't get um, confused here, it looks like the y-intercept is somewhere, you know, around 102 or so forth. But actually, look at this first x value, 5.5. This number right here, that's not the y-axis. The y-axis is actually to the left a little bit. Um, you know, it's not showing the whole entire um, positive x, y axis there, as you can see. All right, so let's go ahead and write this equation down. So I'm going to round this a little bit. So remember, sales, which I'll call y prime, let's call this about 28.65, and I'm going to call this about 13.9. So again, you know, when you're working um, in my math lab, you know, my math lab always tells you what to do there. So you don't have to, in terms of rounding, you, could, um, you don't have to play guessing games there. So I'm going to call this y prime, my predicted y value, is equal to, again, it's 28.65 plus 13.9x. So multiply the x value, which is your advertising dollars, remember in thousands, by 13.9 and add on 28.65, and that will get you your estimated value. Now, it asks me, as you can see, it says, interpret the slope and y-intercept in the context of the problem. All right, so let's do the, uh, the y-intercept first. So remember, the y-intercept is right here. This is the y-intercept. And you know, they're pretty much all the same. The y-intercept, remember, is the value on the y-axis that the line uh, crosses uh, through. And that always happens when x is 0. So imagine x being 0 if we just didn't spend any money on advertising. Then the predicted 
y value right here. In other words, if x was 0, the predicted y value would just be this 28.65. And remember, that's in thousands. So when they ask us to interpret this in the context of the question, we'll say something to the effect of, um, you know, if we spend zero dollars on advertising, we'll have, you know, in that 28.65, because it's in thousands, that will be $28,650 in sales that week. All right, and then what about the slope um, interpretation? Remember this thing here is a slope. All right, well, think about that. You spend zero, then you don't earn any of that money, and you just make the 28650 But what if you spend... $1,000. In other words, what if x were 1? Well, then that would be 1 times 13.9, and you'd add on to 28,650. So obviously, for every 1 that you spend, and don't forget, this case, 1 means $1,000. For every $1,000 we spend in advertising, we're going to earn an additional 13.9, which again, in thousands, that's 13,900 bucks. Um, you'll make that much more in sales. So for each 1, which remember really is $1,000 spent on advertising, um, we'll make an additional $13,900 in sales. All right, so um, this is what it means to interpret the slope and y-intercept within the context of the question. And I'd say they're kind of all the same, you know. When you're looking for the uh, y-intercept value and you, you're trying to interpret it, you say something to the effect of, if I, if I plug in 0 for x, this is what the model predicts for y. And then for the slope, you say, you say every time I spend 1 or every time I, I change in, or increase the value of x by 1, this is what happens to the y-prime value. Um, and, you know, so it, it, just every question you come across, obviously, is a little bit different. All right, so I believe we did all the parts in B now. All right, so let's look at part C. It says, predict the sales for an advertising amount of 6.1. All right, so in other words, if we spend x equals 6.1, which remember, that would be $6,100. All right, so remember, our model... Um, y prime is equal to 28.65 uh, plus 13.9 times x. Now, if x is 6.1, you know, that's just an arithmetic question. So y prime, 28.65 plus 13.9 times 6.1. Okay, and we could work that out on our calculator. 28.65. My pen constantly double clicks, as you can see. There's no way around it. No matter how much you use it, there are times where you type, and no matter what, it just double clicks. All right, so 28.65 uh, 28 plus 13.9 times 6.1. All right, that'll be predicted sales of 113.44, which, you know, that, um, when we, and we're talking thousands here, so that would be, one hundred thirteen thousand four hundred forty dollars in predicted sales. All right, nice and easy. Letter D is the predicted value in Part C interpolated or extrapolated. All right, so remember the deal with interpolation and extrapolation. You got to look at the given x values here, and let's see, the smallest x value looks to me like it's that 5.5 right there. And then the largest x value actually is this 6.8. All right, so the given range of x's runs from 5.5 to 6.8. We are predicting a value of 6.1. Notice 6.1 lies within that boundary from 5.5 to 6.8. And doing so, remember that's called interpolated. Uh, the prefix interpret, uh, inter meaning within. So um, 
where this value here that we're, we just calculated, you know, we would trust that value based on this model because of the interpolated interpolation here. So for letter D, I would say it is interpolated since 6.1 lies within the range of the given x values. All right. We trust the model, or we trust the model's prediction in a scenario when it's interpolated. If we were trying to predict outside that uh, range, like for example, if I want to predict for, you know, seven, if what if I want to uh, try for $7,000 uh, in advertising, uh, we probably wouldn't trust that value because that would be an extrapolated value. All right, so letter E says, if you were told the sales are 125, what would the model predict for advertising? All right, well, here's our model. Y prime is equal to 28.65 plus 13.9x. They're telling us that sales were 125, which remember is 125,000. All right, so this is nothing more than solving a two-step equation. So we'll subtract 28.65 on both sides. Ninety-six point three five, and then we'll divide both sides by thirteen point nine. All right, six point nine three approximately. All right, so that would predict sales of about 6.93, which remember, this is in thousands. That would be about $6,930 in um, advertising costs. Okay, and that probably should let off a little uh, alarm in your head because look at the next part. It says, would you trust the model's prediction for the part that you just calculated? And obviously, um, remember, the highest value there was 6.8. The fact that this is yielding something larger than 6.9. Um, well, obviously this is a problem. So for letter F, uh, we would not. Trust it. The value is extrapolated. We are predicting outside the range of the given data. And you can even check, by the way, the 125, um, the largest y value, the largest y value is right here, 123. Clearly, you can see it's outside the given range of y's as well. All right, so we wouldn't trust that value. All right, so the, the last part, I'm going to put it in a different video. Um, take some time to talk about that. Um, if you have any questions on these parts, you know, this again, this. This, the bulk of this was just calculating the regression equation and then using the regression equation to make some predictions and then passing judgment on whether you feel those values were interpolated or extrapolated. If you have any questions, uh, send me an email. Thanks for watching.